I have many students email me what is the difference between sweep 1 and sweep 2. In this video, I'm going to use this ring to explain to you the differences between those two. Let's get started. Sweep 1 and Sweep 2 rail are one of the powerful tools in the Rhino 3D model. Let's take a look on this ring. If I'm using a Sweep 1 rail, then I can pick up this one. This is the rail. This is the cross section. And very much that you see, it's a ring with consistent thickness there. If you want to add in the thickness on the top, for example, we can add in another profile. So let me add in another profile here. I simply just want to make a copy from this point to this point. And I also want to do 1D scale from this point to this point and extend it to the top. So let's take a look on sweep one rail and see what we get. We're going to click on the rail and ask you uh, the cross section. You're going to pick up this and that. Now. You one thing really important is you need to make sure the arrow is all face the same direction on the same uh, point. What I mean on the same point is they all at inside of the ring rail. If I hit enter, it will only give you half of them. It's because you are telling the rhino say you go from this cross section to this cross section. If you want it to come in back, you have to click on the close sweep and that will be okay. And this is the ring that we get. We have no control at the midpoint here and there. It will just go gradually changing from this thickness going to this thickness. What if I wanted the shape is more toward to this green one? I could set it up multiple cross section there. Let's give it a try. I'm mean, coming into the front view and then I want to rotate it with the copy equal yes, starting from the zero and somewhere about here and hit enter. So we get something really close there. I could do the 1D scale starting from this point to this point and snapping to this point. So then that will completely meet. Then I'm going to mirror to the other side like this. And take a look at what we get here. We're going to use the sweep one rail and we get cross section one, two, three, and four. And that's hit enter. Make sure they all align. So I personally prefer align everybody to inside of the ring. And they all need to face in the same direction. So we have something like this that's close to the sweep and we get something like that. All right. It does follow all the cross section that we have, but it doesn't follow outside of this ring there. So if we want to get even closer, we can do pick up this one and again, rotate from this point to this point. And I want to do the 1D scale going from this point, snapping to this point with the same profile that's just mirrored to the other side. Now we have a lot of the cross section. Supposedly you should follow it, right? Let's take a look. We want to do the sweep one rail. This is a rail cross section one, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's make sure everybody going inside of the ring and facing the same direction. As you can see, this two is not, so let's click on the arrowhead and have them go into the other direction. Let's hit enter and close the sweep. It's getting better to our shape there, but this is still a bump over there. That's why we need a sweep two here. I'm going to mark the one on the bottom into the cyan color. Let's try the sweep two. Rail 1, Rail 2, cross section. And we're just using one cross section. It will follow the shape exactly in between those two rails. However, 
when you have the rail is in the bigger gap in between, it will automatically getting fatter. Coming over here in the dialog, you have maintain high if you want them to be exactly the same thickness. And we can click OK. So in conclusion, you can add in as many as cross section as you want on the sweep one rail, but to 100% follow the two different outline, you will need to do the sweep two. I hope you enjoyed the video to explain the basic Rhino command and the differences. If you are new to Rhino, don't forget to check out my introduction course that will teach you everything from beginning. Let me know if you like me to explain more in this type of a video. Leave the comment below and share my video. Thank you for watching. See you next.